All right. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Yo, what's up? Good to have you here. Paul Training going to dive into something that we, you know, I end up doing a lot for something that could be a pain, which is randomizing graphics in Illustrator. So thanks so much for joining me. Uh, Joseph, Felicia, Carolina, or Carolina, I'm not sure how you say your name. <laughs> Michelle, awesome. Good to see you. Hopefully everything's coming through just fine and uh, you can see what's happening. All right. Hopefully that works for you. All right. So, and again, welcome. Good to have you here. Just taking me a second, just making sure I can see everybody's content and uh, all that good stuff. There we go. Looks a little... Cool. I think we're good. All right. Let me just move this over so I could read chat more easily. There you are. Okay, cool, Oscar. Let's share my screen and enough talking. More designing, shall we? Let's do it. Shaba, shaba. Here we are. Adobe Illustrator. Welcome. Uh, good to have you here, uh, Marshall and everyone else. This is awesome. Um, so thanks so much for hanging out with me. All right. Cool. Hopefully you guys uh, can uh, see this. Um, can see the chat. Okay or uh, the video. So just confirm that the video is good. That would be fantastic because um, I'm getting some notifications on my end of things. So cool. All right, let's dive into this. Uh, here, I currently don't have anything, but hey, let's make some quick graphics if you guys don't mind. Hope that works for you. Jump in here, just grab, boom, boom. There we are. Pick a different color, Paul, huh? Be a little more interesting than that. Oh, that green was electric. But let's just make a quick uh, sort of like pseudo leaf. Grab these opposing corners and we'll just kind of go do something like that. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, so uh, let me know if the video is good. Uh, Magda, which is such a cool name, by the way. Um, so yeah, here is a leaf and I want to have many different colors of this leaf kind of all over the place, right? That's the idea. Uh, video is good. Fantastic, must be my end. Uh, nonetheless, here's my... Um, my graphic so i could take this i could do a couple different things with it uh first off i could drag it into my symbols panel and call it leaf right you guys know where i'm going with this right i just made it a symbol bam there it is easy enough kind of put that off to the side we'll go to our symbol sprayer tool right we'll select our symbol down here you guys know how this goes right click and there you have a bunch of leaves right which is okay. So you end up doing this, Oscar. Tell me, tell me if this makes sense. Like you'll do these leaves and then you're like, oh, well, I gotta go in here. I gotta somehow randomize it this way. So we could still do that. Use the symbol shifter tool, right? To kind of shift those around and push them around. But really what I want is I just want like a bunch of leaves everywhere, right? Cause this actually gets to be like a little bit of work just to be honest with you. And you can adjust the options right in here. You can say, hey, you know what? Make it even more intense in terms of how much it pushes it around. Let's change that to 50, right? We should really be able to push these around even better. Um, but anyways, so that's what we'd have to do. We typically have to go in there, change the size to, here's the symbol sizer tool, which this is fine. We can make some big leaves. If you hold down the option key, it will do the opposite. So think of the option key as just opposite. It's the opposite key. Cool. Uh, a code of such. Yeah, <laughs> Mark, you got it. Yeah, again, this is nice. You know, another thing we could do is we can make this a pattern. Totally love making this a pattern. That would be awesome. So we'll still kind of hold on to that idea. We'll take this leaf, right? Here we are. Let's just do this. There's our, here's our artboard just for kicks, just so I'm aware of the size, size of this. Let's shrink it down. Let's make a lot of them. Yeah, there's multiple ways of doing this. Guarantee you probably do it this way, right? Command D, da 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 da. That's what the, the D, Command D means da 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 da. That's Command D. <laughs> you get it. 
uh, Command Shift H to hide that crazy artboard. We have everything here. Now we want to colorize it and randomize it. I need to pull up the actual randomizer script that I use. Uh, probably came from AE scripts, but here's everything. We'll go in here uh, to scripts. And what I have, there's actually a couple different ones. I want to know what you guys use. Mark, I know you know what's up. Sounds like you probably have a script in mind. Um, so uh, randomizer three, there's other versions of this. And again, if you guys have one, that's great. But here's the randomizer that I've been using. Uh, and from here, like a minimum of zero, maximum of 100, right? Change the, uh, make the scale uniform. So the scale Y shouldn't matter. Let's adjust the opacity. Don't take it clear down to zero, uh, but kind of around there. Uh, let's scatter it around a little bit, maybe by, you know, 100, 200 pixels on either side. Um, you get the idea. So that's all. Let's random rotate. Look, random, random rotated. <laughs> Good one. I don't mean to pick on the person because probably in English is not their first language. And I think of how many second languages I know, zero. So a lot of sympathy here. Boom. There we have it. Uh, all of our lovely leaves, which that looks great. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah. Let me, uh, yeah. Let me know if you find, uh, just an outsider wanting to know more about code. Oh yeah. That would be nice. If you, hello there. If you're joining me elsewhere and if it's your first time kind of jumping in here, uh, feel free to say hello. Um, but let's kind of take this to the next level because I need to colorize this as well. So what if I want to colorize it based on a couple different swatches, right? So come in here, we can say, hey, we want to do this color. Select everything. Let's do like maybe, uh, let's do it. Let's just do some fun colors just to make sure this works. I usually do a lot of neon colors, but we'll do, uh, sure, we'll do a red, we'll do an orange, we'll do a yellow, we'll do a true green, we'll do this like teal color, right? So those are the colors we'll go for and uh, we'll see what happens. So just selecting those colors, uh, going up to scripts, sure enough in here, we can have and use what is called random swatches fill. And a warm welcome to Mustafa from Egypt for the first time. Good to have you here. Random swatches fill. Um, let's make sure these are ungrouped. Break leak to symbol. How is that even a symbol in the first place is what I want to know. The thing about this script, the random swatches fill, um, is it does have to be, how did, oh, I accidentally used a symbol for all this scattering. So let's take that back some. It's a good chance to show you guys how I did this. These were all symbols, shame on me. Oh. Shame on me. It's not that big of a deal. But kind of is in this case because I kind of have to do this over. That is fascinating. So I'm thinking of back in, in uh, sort of the flash days where when you make a symbol, your original graphic just stays the original graphic. So it's not tied to, back to the original graphic. So this is what I didn't do earlier for this very first one. Let's just break link. Let's make sure it's just a solid graphic. And uh, again, that was my mistake. I apologize, everyone. Uh, same thing with XD. So I guess Illustrator threw me for a second. Happens to the best of us. Good thing we can do this really fast. And good thing we can go in here and randomize this really fast. Because you know this would take a while. <laughs> if uh, we did not have this ability to just adjust these sliders. So that's all I'm doing. Zoom, 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 zoom. Random rotate it there. Do your thing. There we are, picking our swatches. Random swatches fill. Uh, random swatches fill. Make sure they're ungrouped. Uh, 
There we are, finally. Cool thing is we can do this a number of times, right? Cause I'm not really liking this color combo. Let's pick some of these. Let's throw a purple in there, one in there, why not? And let's do a random swatches fill on this one. But now it's working. So key things we've learned, at least I've learned. I don't know about you guys. I'm always like learning stuff cause I'm always messing up. Um, uh, is to just make sure it's broken apart, it's ungrouped, and it's just sort of a raw shape, if you will, right right in here. These are just shapes, and this is great. So I can come in and say, you know what, this one's kind of standing out. Let's change that to red, and we can modify this accordingly. We don't want these two red ones together. We can go like so. So random swatches fill, if you take a look right in here. Swatches fill. Uh, from Vector Boom. I, sorry, I was thinking of Illustrator. Uh, yeah, no, that's right. I was, I was thinking of After Effects when I said this earlier, but here you go. Random swatches fill is the script. Let me paste that in a chat for you. Right, and it's the little things. Honestly, you don't really learn until you like maybe break something. Then you're like, oh, that's what I need to do. Den uh, Dennis, what's up? Um, what is real? What's up? Muriel as well. So there you have it. Um, I don't know what else you want to know about this, right? The last thing I'll do really fast is I'll make a quick brush. Okay, so let's do that. Jump in here, we'll grab one of these. Bam, there it is. Actually, we'll take a, we'll take a group of these. Let's take this group. Since I have time, and then I gotta go try to run and I gotta go running after this, guys. I gotta try to run a mile in under six minutes. So wish, wish me luck, it's crazy. Last way, if you wanna create some nice randomness, uh, use brushes. So, because we have a pattern brush that we can make. So just take these graphics, drop it in here, make a scatter brush or a pattern brush. So we could go with scatter brush. It's gonna do exactly what you think it's going to do. Uh, right up here, those same sort of sliders. So this is leaves. Right, so we will make this uh, random. And then we adjust below and above that size. But keep in mind, this gets really high really fast. So you don't wanna tweak it that much. Uh, spacing will keep us fixed. And really I should, have, I should have done this with like one leaf to really kinda of show what it can do. Um, and uh, I feel like fix, uh, changing it already. Uh, uh. Rotation, random, but should be 180 plus 180, um, something like that, and then click OK. And we went ahead and made our brush. So let's move this out of the way. Uh, let's hit N for pencil. We'll select our brush, we'll draw a line, and here's all our lovely little uh, leaves. I like this because we can really control all of these leaves with one line. So that's the power of this, obviously. Isn't it fun? Thank you, Michelle. I agree 100%. You just have so much control to jump in there and say, you know what? Yeah, maybe I wanna like tweak this here. Maybe there's gonna be more up here and less, you know, down here, as you can see. And it will change as you adjust. Do that, Photoshop, I dare ya. So again, just an easy way to create randomness, as you can tell. Um, and it's uh, really fun. You could do this with one leaf or a group of leaves like I did here, right? The power of this, by the way, Susan, so keep this in mind, like, it's not linked back to this graphic, by the way, okay? That's already made, I could delete that. I could just take a couple of these. Uh, I, can, I can give this even more detail. Uh, in this case, what I would probably do is I would add um, maybe a stroke uh, and a fill, so just use strokes and fills. That's all you really wanna do. It's gonna make it so much easier because you can control those fills, by the way. Um, okay, properties. Let's just give it a nice. Or not. Yeah, you guys get the idea. It will work with strokes. I don't even need to go in and do that. Let's just jump out. I'm gonna do one more thing really fast. You ready for this, okay? Magda, 
Um, it is a nice brush, so it works out well. Let's undo this craziness. Come on, where is it? There it is. Right back to our brush. Let's go to um, double click on this and then come in here and get familiar with some of these settings. Cause I could say, hey, you know what? This red, this key color, boom, which I could always change. Change it, so change it, do a hue shift, right? So that's what I'm gonna do, a hue shift on the red, cause the red's maybe a little much. Uh, let's preview it, boom, we could see it change. It's changing based on the fill color. So let's change this right over here. We're gonna change this to a teal uh, blue. Oops, sorry. There we go, we changed it to a teal blue. So let's just double click in here. The key color is still red, so that's what it's gonna shift to, and that's what it has with the hue shift. If I change it to tints and shades, come on, buddy. There we go, tints and shades, tints it that color. So again, you have control over the color of you after the fact, uh, as you can see, right? Again, sometimes it seems like you have to toggle this on and off to really have it take. Since I already have it drawn, that's, I, I think, the situation. Uh, that's going on. So let's go ahead and sample this green. Boom. Let's preview it again. Not a whole lot happening there. But you get the idea. Let's go to the yellow. Hue shift. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Right, cool, randomness. You could save this video for later and watch it again, awesome. Uh, uh, I, I gotta go have like so many Red Bulls, by the way. Uh, but again, super easy, what you could do when it comes to randomization, I've shown you um, three ways, actually. Using scatter brush, using scripts, and then using, using symbols. Symbols was the first one. You guys got it. Uh, can you name the both scripts one more time? Gladly. I'm sorry I went through that so fast. By the way, I don't even remember why I got randomizer. Shame on me. Typically, I usually get them all from this same site. And I bet you if I search here for randomizer. Come on, buddy. Give it to me. Oh, no. Okay. So, Illustrator, random, randomize script. Uh, script. Okay, uh, 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 let's make sure this is. Yeah, so go to Vector Boom is the short of it. Hopefully that helps you. Marcus, I appreciate you. Michelle, everyone, you guys are fantastic. Uh, apparently we're going to advertise shoes right now. I don't know why, but that's what's going on. So appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, stay safe out there, everybody. Um, let me know what else you want to see. Uh, I will be covering st how to make sticker mule stickers tomorrow on my, uh, masterclass, my di design masterclass. I'm going to be creating some, uh, typographic posters. It's going to be part two of that fun series and more coming along. So anyways, um, yeah, it looks like installing them is a whole lesson in and of itself. Such a pain, I'm so sorry. Uh, will it ever be built into Illustrator? We don't wanna take money away from people who are writing these plugins, uh, typically. Um, so I don't know, we, we could always end up doing it. But you guys get the idea. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate you guys. Uh, go ahead, make some cool stuff. I know I'm going to do my best too as well. Uh, and let's continue the conversation online. Follow me through all the social medias. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you.